Welcome back to Card Plays, everybody. We're here at the North Crater. But guess what? Take care. We ain't... <laughs> we are leaving! Because <laughs> this is a side quest roundup episode. So, once you land here in the North Crater on disc 3... Let's actually... Let's talk to Yuffie. Cloud, sign this. This is actually important. Because he actually... In Advent Children, he ends up doing this. What is it? It's a contract that says, when the war is over, all the material will belong to me. It's all in there. Read it carefully and then sign it, alright? Forget it. I'm not even going to read it. Whatever I read, I get airsick. Oh yeah? I'm the same way, so I can't say too much. Damn, my plan failed. Let's pick on Red 13 later to let off some steam. Alright. But I ain't gonna forget, no matter what happens. Not about this here trip, or them folks, none of it. <laughs> Time's got a way of sneaking up on you, huh? I'm shaking all over. <laughs> I feel sick. Feeling nervous, Barrett? You ever see the play Loveless? Nope. Yeah, I figured something like you wouldn't be much on plays. Uh, okay, then yes, I've seen it. Yeah, really? Well, that's fine. They've been doing that play every summer since I was a kid. And I remember seeing it just once. That was when I was in Midgar interviewing to be a pilot. I had some free time and I thought I'd catch the play. Now, I'm no big fan of the theater or anything. But this thing just put me to sleep like I just like I thought it would. Finally, during the last scene, the guy next to me woke me up telling me my story was too loud. So all I really remember of that play is the end. The sister of the lead asked her lover, Do you really have to leave? And the guy says, I promised. The people I love are waiting. I don't understand. Not at all. But please take care of yourself. Of course, I'll come back to you. Even if you don't promise to wait, I'll return knowing that you'll be here. I remember thinking when I heard those lines, Fuck, what the hell is he talking about? But you know, now I'm not so sure. I think I understand. When this job's done, I'm landing this ship. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I am Nanaki, son of Sito. I am afraid of nothing. It's alright, alright? I am Nanaki, son of the brave Seto. I am not afraid of Sephiroth. Very good, Nanaki. I'm super proud of you. I don't know why we don't call you by your regular name. Cloud, take the ship to the Northern Cave. The time for that. The time for flying is now past. Our battlefield is now beneath the earth. The gate to tomorrow is not the light of heaven, but the darkness of the depths of the earth. Very good, Vincent. Hey, Cloud, will you tell me it's all right? I will say it cool. It's all right, Tifa. Now I feel like things are really going to be all right. Thanks, Cloud. I'm alright. I'm not going to chicken out at the last minute. <laughs> That's the way she likes it. <laughs> alright. Let's go do some side quests, everybody. First things first. Alright, so yeah. So now at this point, I have the rocket-powered uh, version of the, uh, of the high wind, which is rad as hell. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt down that bastard weapon. <laughs> but first, I'm going to equip my party in order to fight it. So I will see you all uh, when that is done. Okay. So, now that I have a party generally equipped, not, I'm not... Uh, I don't have them equipped with any, like, uh, <clears throat> special material combinations or anything like that. It's the, they're just, they just have general equipment. And a generally, like good loadout. Now I'm going to travel the world and see if I can find ye old ultimate weapon. Ah! Pay dirt! What's up, jackass? Corel, I'm guessing? No, not Corel. Oh, really? Nibel. 
course this is an air battle, so Cloud won't be able to reach him. But I can reach him with magic! Is he gonna run? I'm gonna throw up. You son of a bitch! Come back here! <laughs> Two punches and you leave? <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> I think I know where he's going though. That was too fast of a fight. I think he's going. Where are you? Yep. So he is, um. He has been weakened, right? So he is going here. And he is going to give us one final, uh, one final fight right here. So let's go. Let's engage. I'm completely and totally ready for this. I say. <laughs> the big guard is up. Not quite enough damage to please me. Is he down? He might be done. I'm gonna actually be done. He missed, and he died. Tifa just punched him out. That was a, that was a quick fight. <laughs> that was a really quick fight. <clears throat> and boom! There's the last big drop of uh, AP that you're gonna get for a little while. And for that, you get the Ultima weapon, which is Cloud's ultimate weapon. And then the weapon kaputs out and crashes into the land. which reshapes that mountain. See, and now there's a big crater here. So, what, what this actually does is it allows us to access this forest. Which I would normally, I would, I would do the Chocobo side quests and go to this forest as soon as I'm able because the rewards are much better. Uh, when you can get them earlier on. But I didn't do that. So, <laughs> uh, we'll do it now instead. <laughs> I'm just gonna get ready and then I'm gonna jump in. Alright, this is the ancient forest. And it's filled with these little puzzles that involve getting into random battles. <laughs> Uh, should I finish and touch these guys? I guess I should, right? We ain't, we ain't got no time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Go away. See you later. Oh, I missed two of them. Really? Yeah, I, I remember these enemies are hard to, uh, hard to nail down. That's a, that's a whole, uh, the whole bag. Alright. Magic works, though.
Actually, forget how this puzzle goes. I remember how this puzzle goes. Apparently you can just walk over and get that item. <laughs> I thought you had to do something for that. Alright, here we go. Frog! Insect! No, I dropped it! Ah! Got it! <laughs> no, I don't want to deal with these freaking trees! Boing! Okay, very good. Spring gun clip, amazing. Come here, frog. <laughs> Jump! No! Damn you. I'm doing this all so wrong. This frog is supposed to go here. You're supposed to jump on here. And then this is going to shoot me up when the frog jumps out. Any day now. Any day. There we go. Then I jump down here, and then I use the beehive. Ow! <laughs> I use the beehive here. Closes the, the flower. I pick up the slash all materia. Which... Slash all I don't really like, because it splits your damage against all the enemies at once. Uh, but it can be useful for certain situations. When, uh... When you level up slash all, it hits all the enemies with the death status effect. So it becomes basically like summoning Odin without actually having to summon him. But if enemies are immune, then you don't actually get to attack. Alright, you take an insect. Go here, you jump up. Put it down. A frog comes out. Grab the frog. Put the frog in this thing. And you jump on this thing, you stay here, and you wait. Wait. You wait. You wait. Keep waiting. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, now. Do I still have the frog? No, I don't. Of course. Why would I have this? Why would I still have the frog? That would be retarded. Get an insect. Then you put it over here. The frog comes down. Get the frog. Uh, I think we go like this. I think we go this way. Okay, put a frog in here. Get the insect. Put him in here. You jump this way. You get bounced up to the treetops. Come in the treetops. Now you go down the tree. You get this. Oh, you get this item here. Minerva band. Oh no! <laughs> I wanted to go back up in the tree. <laughs> oh my god! Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> go this way. Go up. Go around the tree. This way. Go. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> so you run over here. You jump on the bouncy thing. You jump on the bouncy thing. You go over here. You grab this. This is typhoon material. I don't know why it looked like a bag and not material. Like it always looks. It always looks like a material. But that was a bag. So you go over here. And yeah, I think you run down the tree. Do you run down the tree? No? No? There's a fucking... Well, that's it then. Just, just the typhoon material. Yeah, that's it. Bounce. 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 Then you run down. Run down here. You go down the tree. <laughs> Ow! Put this. 
in there. And then get this, get this bug. And you put the bug here. And you go over here. And you run this way. And you get this bug. And you put him here. And you get a frog. There's a frog. Get the frog. And you can run back. And then you jump this way. And you put the frog here. And then you jump on. And then you wait. <laughs> okay, now we're here. And then we wait then we were here. Wait, 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 then we were here. We get the apocalypse. This weapon is amazing. It is for cloud. And the thing that is amazing, it's only three slots, but it's triple material glow grow grub growth. Which is crazy. It's crazy, everybody. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rearrange everybody's materials so that that is amazing uh, later. Uh, we can take advantage of that in the North Cave, especially, uh, and getting the apocalypse early, like right when you have the chance to. Um, like if you get it at the beginning of this too, uh, which you can get by uh, breed Jacobos, which I'm probably not going to be doing because it takes too much time and I don't have enough time uh, to finish that before uh, before um, um, Friday. <laughs> uh, but you can breed Jacobos, you can get a mountain Jacobo, and then come to this area and get the apocalypse right away, and. Uh, have it for most of this too and in that point it's a it's a powerful weapon and b it will help you level your materia to the max levels which will help you get master materia which is effectively all the materia in one in just one spot which is unbelievably fantastic um but uh yeah don't have time for that so now we're gonna do another side quest and now we're just doing a simple little side quest around up uh, of course I get into a random battle two feet away from the town I'm trying to go to. <laughs> Final Fantasy Remake is in my hands right now, and uh, I need to get to that game. <laughs> so, my my precious rocket, it's gone! <laughs> I know no matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone, but I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this, for me it's kind of hobby, but out of appreciation, let me give you this. The Venus Gospel. Wish you'd take care of it and use it. That is Sid's ultimate, uh, ultimate weapon. So that old man just had a crazy, insane magic spear on him. So that's cool. Uh, so now we're gonna get Red 13 on the team and go visit his grandpapa, which is another little side quest. And uh, I'll see you there at uh, Cosmo Canyon. All right, here we are, Cosmo Canyon. Nanaki, it's really bad. Ever since Bogenhagen returned from the last trip, he doesn't seem well. Why don't you hurry and see Bogenhagen? Okay. I will go see Bogenhagen. <laughs> Bogenhagen? Bogenhagen? Bagel Hunter? Grandfather! Wow, he climbed up the ladder. <laughs> That's a sweet little moment. <laughs> Grandfather! Nanaki, you're still here. I can't leave you like this, Grandfather. It's the duty of my... of Seto's son to guard this canyon and her people. Listen, Nanaki, I think you may already know. If you have any mission in life, it is not to defend this valley. Look at the withering mountain grass. Listen to the warble of the newborn Jacobos. <laughs> Look always to the eternal flow of time, which is far greater than the span of a human life. It will teach you more than staying here in the valley. What you will see will eventually become a part of life's dream. For my children and for your children. So please, Nanaki, go with Cloud. And with your eyes, your ears... Ho ho ho! Now don't... Now now, don't look like that. I'm alright. It's a wide world and you must go out and see it. You may even find your life's mate. You never know. Grandfather. 
Oh yes, take this along. I think it will look good on you now. Ho oh, ho. Oh, that's actually really sad. <laughs> I don't remember him, like, passing out like that. Red 13, is Bugenhagen... Grandpa told me that he's going away again. Away? It seems like he really liked that airship. He told me he couldn't stay still and just zipped out of here. He even gave me a gift. Look! Limited moon. Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to give gifts after you come back? Haha, <laughs> Grandpa, uh, Grandpa saw... Should that? Grandpa... Gr fuck! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Grandpa sure is strange. <laughs> hmm, so maybe we'll run into him again somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Cloud. You know, when I, when I was younger, I used to think that Bugenhagen actually did just leave. Like, as. Not. Like, I knew he was dying. But, like, I thought he, maybe he left to go die on the road or something. But I think he just, uh. I think he just fucking died there. I don't think he went anywhere. If anything, Red 13's his last journey is uh, through the live stream, possibly. I think I think that's the end of him. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the next uh, side quest. Okay, so we're back here now with uh, Vincent in tow, and we're back at the uh, the waterfall that we found Lucrezia in. Apparently she's missing. Lucrezia. Received the death penalty and chaos. Vincent's uh, ultimate weapon and his ultimate limit break are left behind while Lucrezia is gone. Don't know where she went. Game never explains it. No more dialogue will ever mention her. Except I think Vincent will maybe say for her later on, like, you know, like, charge for her, or whatever, that kind of thing. Anyway, so much for that. Next! Hey, okay, so here we are back at, uh, Calm. And if we go in this house here and go upstairs, we will run into the Calm Traveler. Uh, which is a guy we talked to before, if you remember. And remember when we did the underwater reactor, we got a item called the Guidebook? This guy will take it. Oh, it's guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater material? How about it? Okay, done. Uh, okay, then done. It's a yeah. Okay, then it's a done deal. So, <clears throat> the underwater material lets your party breathe underwater, uh, which would be pretty useless. Except when you fight that giant weapon that's swimming around under the sea, uh, there's a timer because your party is holding their breath. With this material, they don't need to hold their breath. Uh, I will... <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna take that. Uh, so I... I would love to show you guys, like, how to... Um... How to defeat that weapon. The problem is, is it's meant to be fought at max level. And I just don't have the time to level the party up and, and do that. Um... So, I'll be skipping Ruby and Emerald Weapon. I might afterwards, maybe, like, level up these characters and, and show you how to do that. Uh, but for this current playthrough and before uh, the remake comes out, I just don't have the time. Uh, also, Gold Saucer has some stuff. It has uh, Cloud's Ultimate Limit Break, which is a weird place for that to be, but whatever. Um... You have to do the battle arena, and it's very long, very tedious, and once again, I am constrained by time. I'm also constrained by time to actually level up at all the other characters' limit breaks and, and show you. Uh, so we won't be doing that. Instead, we'll just be uh, tackling the northern uh, crater, uh, which we'll do uh, in the next episode, which will be uh, probably maybe a two-parter. Uh, and will be the final episode uh, of Carmen Plays Final Fantasy VII. So I'll see you guys then, and thank you.